And there is a very important requirement for the introduction of thermodynamics. There are many facets why thermodynamics is essential for all the branches of engineering in general and to some branches very, very essential. Why? Uh, you can see my uh, subtitle for this particular uh, course. Okay. And the thing is, the thermodynamics is unlike other courses, somebody developed a mathematical concept and then started building and then looked for applications and then started learning. No. In fact, no, thermodynamics is a collection of the concepts well developed by many people. And all these concepts, why they developed, no, it was a biological requirement of humans. In fact, no, without a science of disorder, the human development is impossible. The kind of development which you see across the globe, the first level of credit should go to this science appropriately formulated. So that's how this, in this particular introduction, I want to touch upon uh, this particular aspect of why this science is a collection of few concepts and ideas. And all these ideas were developed because of a biological characteristic of a human. And the day he realized this one, then the development became very fast and very good. So let us spend this time today on this particular one. And all the students should get convinced that uh, thermodynamics is one such course which is directly related with the human development. You imagine our human life started with a, a kind of campfire, combustion of the wood, etc. And thermodynamics, this is how the rural people even now living and they are subjected to high level of carbon monoxide their health levels are very bad but at the end of the day suppose if i see uh, development which happened through the entire this dynam thermodynamics as a globe you can see this one the slowly the biomass towers were modified to a properly designed wood stoves then the people entered into the more Burning fuels. Now we have microwaves, one of the best way of uh, developing of food. And at the end of the day, what is the challenge for next development? Is how do you make this microwave very cheap, very efficient, etc. So that's how this fundamental development, even the eating habits, no, is a part of thermodynamic development, which we'll see the step by step. Suppose If I go to the, the, the power of lighting, uh, a thermodynamic development in, led to the massive electrical lamps, which are a state of, in fact, no, one of the important sign of developed nation is a uh, good lighting facility is essential for the human development. And if I go on giving no, there are many inventions which we'll see. The next important thing is uh, the human is the one who will learn by moving traveling across the globe was essential. So we started with an ordinary horse cart. Our development was limited, but the slowly the introduction of thermodynamic concepts and use of thermodynamic the most powerful transportation system on the road. And within this one, no, there are three facets like the similarly, you see this one, uh, if you might have seen the Arabian night seas, the people wanted to develop, do the business across the ocean. And only the moving a boat was to capture some slaves, beat them cruelly so that they'll drew the uh, boat. In fact, the day thermodynamics became popular, no businessman in the world will misuse the creativity or any other means to develop. So we have developed the most powerful uh, steamers and many other things which will move fast. If you see this particular development very closely, Obviously, it is appropriately learning, implementing thermodynamics. Initially, somebody did without knowledge or without science, and somebody collected the science and training the future people to develop a better transportation, transportation system on the water. And similarly, the next important, which in fact, no, uh, this is the one only because of a thermodynamics.
for a quite a long this human intellectuals start watching the birds flying they felt that they are the stupid people who can never fly two brothers make it successful the right brothers and afterwards you can see this one we have a supersonic flights now the situation is so that it looks like even the mars is close by i can go to the mars and you can see this appropriate implementation when i when there is no thermodynamics i had nothing to do except watching the birds flying and getting fascinated there is nothing to do the day i started learning the thermodynamics applying appropriately starting from uh, the right brothers propeller aircraft to the jet based supersonic flight all because of this thermodynamics means a thermodynamics is a collection of an experience and the day they collected and formulated nicely the development happened uh, much faster and for a better living as a whole okay so that's why i try to collect all these points we have shifted from eating raw food and living ill healthy and our average life on the globe was very low we were not beating the animals in any other way we are only the weakest among all and the way we started cooking and processing our common life uh, span has in and the human actual vehicles to the great automobiles just watching a flying a bird and fascinate getting fascinated we are moving faster and we have produced the biggest birds in the sky now uh, i'm not saying that all the developments are uh, positive and good there could be negative consequences even that negative conse consequences can be well understood if you learn this particular science in a more complete way and uh, you know that spending hours on an ordinary notebook calculator you have such a sophisticated uh, computing notebooks you have the entire world in front of you all these things are uh, for the sake of development then in this case you no know, i'll get it. Uh, in fact you no know, after teaching this course for a 15 years i do i did get a doubt like Uh, all the science is only because of these reasons and what made a human to invent such a science and follow and develop further this made me or this developed a high curiosity so that i should convince my students that this entire thing did not happen by chance it is a well calculated process well predicted process by the nature for our own existence and developing a science and then improving further you will be thrilled to see this particular way of identifying ourselves and this is the way of identifying ourselves if you see the life on the earth this what we say no autotrophs and heterotrophs if i try to look it into a thermodynamic fashion and which is true also if i see what is autotrophs input and the atmospheric co2 plus h2o okay and the help of the huge amount of uh, solar energy you see the thermodynamically at the end of the day all these efforts of autotrophs is for their own betterment but in the process no they did a great job to the globe how they created carbon reservoirs okay for a quite a long time these carbon reservoirs are believed to be the food okay the moment there is a food there is a formation the next class of uh, heterotrophs started developing you see what are these these are heterotrophs what is the input to them this food okay and the finally what they do here they produce the basic raw material for these autotrophs in the form of co2 it is a win win situation and not only that these autotrophs to for the better living of this they are producing the oxygen as in the entire life and the system of living systems in fact no once one of my student asked me a question why so many living species why can't be one single species and if i have a single species thermodynamically there is no connection you imagine if there are only autotrophs nothing else what will happen all the co2 will be consumed one day 
and the autotrophs will start decaying. Their growth depends upon how much CO2 they can get along with the solar energy, of course, which is available. In fact, in a uh, Indian Upanishads, there is one Upanishad who only talks about this particular science very spiritually. It is called a Thaitreya Upanishad, where say that autotrophs and heterotrophs together uh, developed the earth, which we saw, uh, call it as you know, ecological uh, dynamics. Now the entire world is growing very nicely with a, a perfect balance and perfect uh, steady state or you can say you no know, equilibrium between the autotrophs and heterotrophs. And these autotrophs created lot many things. Let me explain that the same thing with a, a series of pictures which you will get excited why this common science to all the branches of engineering or maybe every human should understand better. If a driver understand this one, he will be alert how to conserve the fuel, okay, or so and so on. Now you see this one. Uh, all of us learned very early in the school about this beautiful phenomena, how the autotrophs take the life, and we have named it as a photosynthesis. And the first time, the unknown, you don't know what is the uh, shape of the raw material which this fellow uses. You see, what is the raw material to this particular plant and useless, totally useless CO2 according to us and the H2O, of course, naturally available solar energy. Okay, but the moment this plant absorbs this one, okay, and creates and try to develop the outcome. What is the outcome? you see this fruit according to the biology it may be apple it may be banana it may be something else something else but if it is thermodynamics what is this one this is the energy reservoir this energy reservoir created plentiness of availability of many resources on the earth and because of this surviving and creating a carbon reservoirs because a creating out of nothing is a very very tough job all the species perhaps cannot do this particular job that's how the growth was not very perfect and complete but what was the perfection and completion which is possible the moment i have a easily usable form of sugars no we say then and there are many many uh, systems which we started developing you see this one when the raw material was a tough CO2, very difficult to manage under solar energy and there was nothing. The moment the auto developed a carbon reservoirs, you see this one, a good system of life developed. In fact, no, there is a series of living systems which are growing too. Now you see this one, why the diversity is essential in the nature, no, one reservoir should be put to the another reservoir. Okay. so. A mouse will eat the grains, cat will eat the mouse, tiger will eat the cat and the entire system will develop in a perfect biological diversity. This is the one, in fact if you see you know, the existence of entire nature is an equilibrium thermodynamics which is happening and which we are understanding. But in the entire process everything was nice, it is going very well, but within this one there is something happened which nature realized perhaps very lately. Now if you see a, a typical a dynamic of carbon reservoirs, same thing which I have shown you before and starting from perhaps somewhere here, okay. Now you see I am developing, I am, I am developing, sorry, okay, I am developing the entire carbon reservoirs through the autotrophs. These autotrophs have created the easy form of sugars. So that there are so many system of species which are called heterotrophs developed. But unfortunately, because of many reasons, many of these carbon reservoirs got struck into some use, uh, unusable form. You see this particular one, I'm going to circle now. These are called fossils. Okay, what is the meaning of fossils? This particular carbon reservoir 
permanently got buried under the ground and this will not get recycled at all if slowly all the heterotrophs or many of the uh, autotrophs together gets buried at the fossils there will be abnormal scarcity of carbon dioxide in the ambient now the entire growth process will get disturbed this is called ecological imbalance almost inverse of what is happening now and in fact no the nature will do some kind of very rapid events there was a research done and found that the higher the undermantle carbon and more will be the eruption of the volcanoes suppose if you see these volcanoic action which we will see the more the undermantle carbon more will be the eruption uh, sorry the eruption of this volcanoic why they are doing there is a catastrophically the nature is creating a co2 for the sake of existence of autotrophs similarly i have seen i have read a lot of literature related to the forest fires in fact we are developing a technology for uttarakhand and various regions how to properly convert this particular dry, dry dry biomass into energy and save the forest from the forest fires so the dry biomass which doesn't get converted appropriately into co2 one fine day there will be a forest fire catastrophically co2 is created means what i want to conclude here is all the heterotrophs autotrophs together did a good ecological imbalance one hand but this fossilization and slow process of co2 reversal created an imbalance nature has to think uh, to create a new heterotroph all of us know we are the youngest among all the living species nature has to think twice and created us what are we you can imagine so the energy has so much role in the human evolution uh, unlike all the heterotrophs we are called especially there is a, a point to be noted where everybody will appreciate why thermodynamics is essential for every human or every person in general for the sake of better development better society better nation in fact no not having this knowledge will lead to the misuse of resources sorry uh, i want to okay so this extra somatic okay this is the extra somatic what is the extra somatic you think very carefully all the heterotrophs which are created by the nature other than us can consume the energy within the body and grow because of which co2 reversal was very slow that's why all the heterotrophs are called somatic heterotrophs but we are, what are we we are what is called extra somatic we take less energy within the body and we need a more energy for development outside the body you imagine without i am in delhi so much winter without an inner without a shirt and also a jacket i'll not feel happy why i'm made to be extra somatic to produce all this one i'll consume more energy resources and produce more co2 and all of you see this one we are using such, this virtual transmission so much electricity so many uh, computers cameras etc why we think that that is the best way of learning in fact if you read through the sentences which i'm ha having the humans are extra somatic heterotrophs so because of this ability to use energy more outside the body we have produced the more co2 and started helping and in a way no the number of volcanic eruptions the seriousness of the forest fires substantially came down the day we came into the existence and you see this one the third point the human population modified more and more of its environment you imagine you don't see any tiger any elephant modifying the globe so much we have created a virtually a new uh, nature we have created a con concrete jungles and which are totally fascinating the god created a small birds fast birds like a falcon which runs at 110 km per hour but as a humans we created fastest flying a bird a supplement okay you can see this particular uh, growth which we are looking at 
okay and this is the most important aspect of the uh, development in fact no i was uh, reading through one of the psychologists research on why this particular fellow human is so much obsessed with using energy again and again now you imagine uh, if you take a one second perhaps it is the bacteria whose population will grow like anything and if i take maybe one month there may be another species if you take millions of year together there is no other species which grew more than us present population of nearly 5.5 billion is just because of extrasomatic because we were required uh, to balance the co2 di dynamics all the energy utilities which we develop are in a way a developing a series of concepts because we are biologically created by the nature to use more energy outside the body to do this particular one we need to invent the cars we need to invent the trains we need to invent the way, uh, airplanes are many many utilities maybe mixers maybe refrigerators maybe everything all these things and what is the bottom uh, i mean the bottom most science on which these concepts are built thermodynamics so that's how no thermodynamics is a collection of a concepts and a collection of experience which people were creating the steam engines ic engines refrigerators without having a science the people felt that there should be a proper science if there is a science and we'll develop and nurture our biological quality called extrasomatism this extrasomatism requires lot of energy utilization outside the body then you can develop further and then we started doing a more and more research what is the more research you can see the entire thing if you take this is the most interesting and important and obvious uh, structure of energy available in the nature the solar energy which creates the wind pattern and for all the species in the globe and the if if i see this particular one you see all the heterotrophs the wind is source of oxygen including us but for a human it is a source of o2 and also the source of energy we only the species which think that there is energy in the wind why we have a two way of looking at it we are not just interested in the somatism we are interested in the extra somatism in fact this is the oxygen you see this the global utilization of oxygen by humans is for digestion of food within the body and combustion of fuels outside the uh, body and both are essential for a human development you can see the hydro energy all other species require a water for a development of the body a better combustion better digestion anything what you say the role of the water biologically but for us the water is not just a source like a water we uh, develop the plenty of power with a hydro energy and you can go on and see and see what is the most interesting thing no this is the point which i want to say perhaps the perfectly the origin of this particular science if you see this particular science okay and these are the fossil fuels there are no heterotrophs on the globe which can use use them why this is not a direct energy reservoir and all the heterotrophs which are developed by the nature are the somatic so because they are somatic they could not convert these fossilized carbon reservoirs and we being extra somatic we convert them plentifully and produce a huge amount of co2 now the situation is so bad that Uh, there is a reversal of what nature expected the global warming and uh, unreasonable amount of co2 this is because this entire thing you no know, not holistically understanding that the role of thermodynamics could should not be one way means exploitation no thermodynamics should be in the reversal you help the nature and take the help from the nature that's why we started realizing that we cannot neglect the solar power you see this one the solar energy is available from the day everything happened now why we think that now the the photovoltaic is more feasible now why now the photovoltaic is feasible why not before perhaps something missing what i want to say here is it is the thermodynamics which helped us growing and it is the thermodynamics which will help us that what is the blunder we have created while developing now there is a, all over the world either it is a developed nation or a developed 
developing nation whether the nation has a plenty of fossils or a no fossils the people started developing a uniform vision in fact i am doing a consultancy to south arabian countries all are renewable uh, it i i just laughed why do you why are you worried no no we are concerned about the environment at a large why using the fossils is a one way of thermodynamics but not using suppose if you supplement the fossils with the alternate energy resources the rate at which you produce the co2 can be controlled then perhaps you know within few years we can grow we can develop we will create co2 but just enough for the nature to be uh, be operating in equilibrium that is what is called it is it is very important to develop uh, further okay going ahead so the first level of thermodynamic uh, reasoning why this particular science is so essential i i wish i teach all my students now with this course so you should not learn this as a one subject without passing you cannot get grades etc that's all ordinary thinking if you want to become a very uh, responsible intellect whether you are a computer science student or a, a biological student it's very essential to learn this science and which is basis for the development of human civilization at large okay now i am giving you see this one i am giving a proof based on the history so all of you know this particular advertisement which fascinates me a lot mentos advertisement before taking the mento this monkey was uh, overridden by the donkey it is the donkey overruling why we were weak the day monkey realized that he has a special characteristic called extra somatism okay so the day he re realized he started capturing the donkey and the donkey is in his control he grew like anything so the day we realized uh, we are extra somatic we are civilized till we realized that one we were living the one of the weakest animal on the globe every animal was dominating we were running away in that process we thought that we need to develop a better systems that's how you can see the series of inventions which look so good are you see this particular thing these are the ones which never existed in the nature we started to depend upon the cattle power but our growth was limited but then we developed the water mills wind mills heat engines steam in turbines and gas turbines you imagine any one of them if you want to develop without knowing the laws of nature like conservation of mass conservation of energy conservation of species or many more conservation principles perhaps nobody can develop this and that's how no thermodynamics is constructed out of these principles to help the all kinds of energy needs now if you see especially this is important for the biology people if you go to the a heart specialist when he does the ultrasound scanning and what is actually he is doing you know he is drawing a pressure volume pressure versus volume diagram made by the heart and if the heart is all right the maximum pressure and minimum pressure maximum volume and minimum volume are supposed to be in limits if not there could be many reasons so his decision making became more authentic the day he started depending on the thermodynamic evaluation of the state of the heart state of the muscle or anything i'll take more examples uh, where the biothermodynamics is becoming more powerful for a better decision making in the healthcare or even the care of animals or a uh, ecology at large how to balance the species in the uh, nature so that there is a good equilibrium of co2 exchange or a energy exchange so mean if i come to this particular one the first turning point which touches my heart where this human no did a, the greatest innovation according to the uh, uh, extra somatism so you see this particular one the greatest thinking process the day he realized that there is a formal science required now the spectrum of thermodynamics is not just related to managing the energy requirement making the engines making the car engines making the aircraft engines not just limited to this and you can visit this website very powerful website it is doing the holistic view of thermodynamics there is a subject called a human thermodynamics which studies that how i am thinking the rate at which i am thinking will make me a good person or a bad person 
mean that is some kind of a uh, work action and heat action all of you see if you get annoyed unnecessarily your body temperatures are going to increase you you spoil your blood pressure your sugar levels will go abnormal all this is called uh, human uh, thermodynamics and the ne next one is you see this particular one this is called a psychodynamics okay and how do you develop a good society so that everybody will be happy and everybody will think positive and you see the recently i went to bangalore to deliver a lecture i was uh, talking to the company who invited me to deliver the lecture and then they said me ki there is a very good uh, meeting can you come then i went there there was a lady who was 80 years old and she was on fast for 8 days and delivering a lecture in fact she was so powerful that uh, i who took lunch and dinner everything i was talking mildly than that lady uh, it looks like you can conserve the body energy if you understand psychodynamics and you can always conserve the resources well if you understand this particular psychodynamics and out of which you know this is the one the great scientist the philosopher the psychologist and you, you name perhaps this person first time used the thermodynamics beyond the boundaries of thermodynamics now you see the great gibbs okay he said that the entire body is full of reactions whatever happens in this nature no is a full of reactions that's how thermodynamics has to be studied what is like a, a chemical thermodynamics all the biology people chemical engineers they have to learn this chemical thermodynamics and thermodynamics you see this one i just want to read this statement just for the sake of focus or your attention and all of you read along with me you are a big chemical reaction in fact no, the human body is a big chemical reactor there are so many chemistry in fact no i am reminded of i don't know whether you watched this uh, a movie in hindi that munna bhai mbbs he says a uh, chemical locha ho raha tha in fact you see this one it's the uh, some chemical reaction in the mind makes you crazy okay so you can see that you are a big chemical reaction everything you say all that you do all that you see decide remember think or feel everything is a, a chemical reaction where there is a thermodynamics plays a vital role in fact no thermodynamics is not just developing engines alone any decisions which are taken in the framework of thermodynamics will be perfect the medicine is becoming more authentic more powerful only because they do so many diagnosis diagnostic methods they use so many diagnostic methods all if you see the bottom line no they they must be using the principles of thermodynamics conserving the species conserving the mass conserving the energy all these are fundamentals of thermodynamics okay any science Uh, which uses thermodynamics, uh, maybe explicitly or implicitly, will develop a lot. What I want to say here is, thermodynamics is not just limited by the examples which I stated for a uh, human development through machines. There is much more, and there are many people across the globe. If you visit this website, no, you will understand the superiority of the thermodynamics. In fact, no, he will have ten uh, different thermodynamics studies. used for the sake of overall ecological thermodynamics uh, environmental thermodynamics what not in fact if i start talking perhaps there is a no limit that's where i say i'm taking uh, taking this opportunity to address all the colleges maybe few more colleges that please take this particular subject as more consciously as a one of the essential human development science rather than just an engineering subject of course at the end of the day my lectures will go towards development of an engine development of refrigerator or development of anything which will be obviously studied it is essential that this subject does beyond uh, developing artificial machines in fact no i am not saying you you need not believe me the great albert einstein somebody asked him and what is the best theory you like the great einstein says in fact no this is very important to know the einstein used a, a better word what is the word he used you no know? he used a word called usefulness in fact no when he was about to be conferred with the nobel prize a series of journalists surrounded albert einstein and asked him what do you want to become in future then he said ki i want to become a useful person not a successful person all the journalists 
is a surprise what do you mean a successful person takes from the nature gives back nothing to the environment society a usable person is the one he takes from the society also gives more than what it is uh, to the uh, society nature a lot so that's how no according to the einstein always he invented the sciences mathematics which are supposed to be useful not successful he wanted to have a two way response then any theory it is more useful that's why you know, he wanted to say that a theory will be useful when the greater the significance of premise sorry the greater the simplicity of the premise when you want to learn the theory you know initial concept should be very simple that's why you know next few classes i'll teach something which you laugh at is this a uh, concept to be taught they are so simple the system surrounding boundaries they are very simple why they want to take every concept every application into the purview of this one the next important thing is the the science which is more useful when will the science become more and more useful it should connect different kind of things i, I was showing you know there is a psychodynamics there is a human thermodynamics there is a chemical thermodynamics environmental dynamics ecological dynamics or ocean thermodynamics things so then no that science becomes more useful it connects or it is more different kinds of things can be solved through this the next one is the more extended is ability okay the number of applications it should be used that's where no i'll teach 15 lectures on the theory the, your own teachers will teach remaining 30 or whatever lectures according to your syllabus using them for a different applications why you need to know some applications to understand the theory but these applications are only sample but actual number of applications which you will use in future unlimited because your intelligence and your brain may be much sharper than who teach this that's how the finally i want to read the statement of him in verbatim therefore the deep impression which classical thermodynamics made upon me the basis of engineering thermodynamics is called a classical thermodynamics otherwise there are other ways of solving the same thermodynamic phenomena called as statistical thermodynamics microscopic thermodynamics etc those are not uh, useful for engineering anything any concept that's how this is called a classical thermodynamics we are studying as a subtle difference which i'll discuss and he says that the which the classical thermodynamics made upon me what did he say he says this one this is only a physical theory of universal concerning which i am convinced that the albert einstein says in fact no strictly speaking he didn't work much in the thermodynamics he worked in a, a physics which actually uh, fed some information into thermodynamics even then because he is only interested in usefulness not the successful he doesn't want to praise the science which he is working he wants to praise that science which is more useful at large so i am convinced that within the framework of, of, of applicability of its basic it ever be overthrown all the thermodynamic concepts will be there uh, forever any other science can change its concept but thermodynamic concepts will never change in fact the first law and thermodynamic uh, law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics are evergreen they will never change whatever may be the developments in the society whatever may be the uh, knowledge earning everything that's how this particular course no we should learn with that perspective okay so that's why the next lecture i want to show some of the historical events which led to building the concepts of thermodynamics that's how we we'll learn origin of engineering thermodynamics it is very essential to develop or sorry essential to understand what are those major breakthrough inventions which led that no 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 there should be a formal way of invention in fact no thermodynamics is a classical way of innovation also without learning thermodynamics you will innovate but that innovation may turn out to be cruel becomes brutal but if you use the thermodynamics no the innovation becomes uh, what is called civilized okay so i'll start from these innovations
i'll stop quit here and we have a 15 Okay, anybody who wants to raise a question based on this initial concept? My idea, in fact, now you can go to my lectures elsewhere and everywhere. I teach all the courses which are related to this energy, and uh, my consultancy, my research, my PhD student guidance, anything or teaching. will have a common objective of that extra somatism that's why i wanted everybody to feel this this is the one which not available in the book straight forward unfortunately the books write straight forward problem solving are taking the student to the examination only okay so if there are no questions okay i'll stop it also load the syllabus now because i waited for a saturday and entire sunday for some mails in fact in the interaction i said please give your comments on what kind of content uh, i received so i'll decide some of the most general topics and maybe by today evening or tomorrow i'll put the syllabus which i am going to discuss and the slides these slides will be available on my website and all one question yeah <coughs> Yeah. Hello. Now can you hear me, sir? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, I don't know. Uh, what is your name and name will be called? I think it's uh, such. Uh, I don't know such questions, but I will try to thank you because you are giving the same subjects, but uh, whatever way you are giving, this is really uh, motivating and inspiring for happy average students. Sorry. your voice is not clear sorry can you write your question in the question there is a point called tab if you type in the question tab no i can read and everybody can read perhaps can you type in the question tab your point somehow the audio is not ah uh, could you hear me well number 1 yes sir i'm audible okay yes Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. can go back and Hello sir Ah uh, yeah please sir you need some technical problems so maybe uh, whatever you are writing it is not available to you Hello Actually your voice is not clear I'm not able to understand exactly what you are saying If the okay, sir, have you have any other problem, we will be back with you later. Ah, okay, no problem. Please send me a mail, okay. and I can. What I am saying is, if you send a mail with the question, the question and my answer, no, I will keep on my website. You can download, and anybody can read also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
now we'll stop it little topics will get through thank you very much uh, so we'll meet again